In this tutorial, I'll show you how to import and edit two large carbon molecules that are members of the fullerene family, this spherical fullerene and this cylindrical fullerene, also known as a nanotube. There are nearly 400 atoms in the nanotube model, and you may notice that the quality of the model is not as good as the spherical fullerene, but with such a large molecule, compromises had to be made to stop the computer from crashing. But more about that in the tutorial. In the file menu, click User Preferences. Click the Add-ons button. In the Categories, click Import Export. Tick Import Export Atomic Blender PDB and click the documentation button. I'll come back to the documentation in a moment. To use the add-on for this session only, click close. If you want to use the add-on for this session and future sessions, click save user settings. Looking at the documentation for the add-on, if you scroll down you will see Example PDB files, click the link, click the link again and save the files. The PDB example files are zipped together in a tar file format. The tar file format is used in Linux systems. If you are running a Windows system then you will need a utility like WinRAR to unzip the files. These are the extracted files. I will put the two files that I'm going to look at in this tutorial at my website for you to download. Press X to delete the cube. File, Import, Protein Data Bank. Go to the folder where you have the example PDB files. Select Fullerene and Import. We can see the spherical shape of the molecule and we can see how the carbon atoms are arranged. But to make the structure even clearer, I'm going to alter the import settings. Press X to delete the cube. File, Import, Protein Data Bank. Set the type for the atoms to mesh. Set the number of sectors to 24. And so we can see the bonds between the atoms, set the scale factor to 0.5. Scroll down and set the number of sectors in the sticks to 12, the radius of the sticks to 0.1 and tick bonds. To save entering the same settings again, I'm going to save them as a preset. And I'm going to call the preset mesh underscore 24 underscore 12. Go to the folder where you have the extracted PDB files, select Fullerene and Import. If we look at the contents of the scene in the outliner window, we see there is a master carbon atom that is duplicated to give all the carbon atoms. There is a master stick segment that is duplicated to give all the sticks. If I look at the substructure, there are stick cups and stick cylinders. The stick cups only affect the internal structure, so I'm going to delete them using delete hierarchy. In the select menu, select all by type mesh. In the object menu, apply make duplicates real. We now have 60 carbon atoms. I'm going to delete the original master carbon atom and I'm going to delete the original master stick segment. Select one of the carbon atoms. In the select menu, select all by type mesh and click join. In the object menu, transform origin to 3D cursor change shading to smooth. In the object properties, give the model a more meaningful name, fullerene. 
The molecule has 60 carbon atoms, it has over 100,000 vertices and over 70,000 faces, a reasonably high polygon count. The example nanotube molecule has nearly 400 atoms and my computer will crash unless I adjust the settings to make the polygon count as low as possible. File New Delete the cube File Import Protein Data Bank Click Operator Presets and select our preset Set the number of sectors for the atoms to 6. Set the number of sectors for the sticks to 5. A key factor is the length of the stick segments. A small value gives accurate stick lengths, but many segments. By trial and error, I found 0.25 was the largest value that didn't cause problems. Click the plus to save the settings as a preset. Go to the folder where you extracted the example PDB files, select the nanotube and import. As before, in the outliner window, open up the sticks and delete the stick cups using delete hierarchy. Select all by type mesh. In the object menu, apply make duplicates real. In the outliner window, scroll down until you get to carbon atom 388. As before, right click to delete the master carbon atom and right click to delete the master stick segment. Select an atom, select all by type mesh, click join, change shading to smooth in the object menu transform origin to 3D cursor and in the object properties, give the model a more meaningful name. That's the end of the tutorial. I put all the files used in the tutorial and the finished files for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stick man. Thanks for watching and goodbye.